first warm weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Candace King. Well, you know, yesterday was a gorgeous day, and today more of the same, just a little warmer for us this afternoon. A live look with our Mercy Sky SkyTrack camera out over Rochelle at the Rochelle Airport. You've noticed the haze kind of thickening up just a bit over the last couple of hours in some spots, and that'll leave our skies hazy here as we go through the rest of this evening. But we'll also see that again for Monday and then into Tuesday. Temperature in Rochelle at 71, Rockford 71, 69 degrees right now in Freeport, 67 in Monroe, and we're currently sitting at 70 right now down in Dixon. Our winds have been a little on the breezy side at times coming in from the southeast, now sustained anywhere from about 5 up to 15 miles per hour. We'll see that wind calm just a little bit as we go through the night tonight. Temperatures still in the 40s again. This will be our last night where we see those numbers dip into the 40s, right around 47 degrees for our overnight low as we hang on to that southeasterly breeze. Tomorrow we're warmer again. You'll see that haze for the afternoon. Winds coming in more from the south. Temperatures climbing up to about 76 degrees for our Monday. We can actually see that warmth a little more back off to the west as we hang on to more of a southerly and then southwesterly wind later this week. That'll help bring those temperatures up. Uh, but we are going to stay dry, really not looking at any chance for any rainfall in the next several days. We might actually have to wait a week before we actually see any uh, decent chance for some rain. Now there is a storm system up here to the north across the plains in the Midwest. That is going to stay to our north. We've had a few clouds as a result of that, and we might see a couple additional clouds as we head through the afternoon tomorrow. One area that we continue to watch having an impact here along the coastline from uh, Texas all the way to Louisiana, Alabama and Mississippi. Tropical storm beta still continues as a tropical storm, really hasn't strengthened too much. Maximum sustained winds now at 60 miles per hour, picking up a little bit, and I stress a little bit of momentum here, uh, moving to the west and northwest at about six miles per hour. But that expected to make landfall once we get into tomorrow early morning, going into the afternoon. Uh, possibility heavy rain, storm surge, that is going to be a big threat along with the wind. Now that moisture is actually all going to stay down to our south. You get a lot of rainfall here from the coastline of Texas out through Louisiana. And then that moisture gets shunned a little bit to our east and southeast. We'll see some clouds actually increase Tuesday night going into Wednesday. And we could see some of that cloud cover again as we head into Thursday. So what that'll do is just dip temperatures down a little bit. There's actually a cold front that comes in on Thursday afternoon, but most likely that is going to come through dry. So you see how our numbers climb mid upper 70s these next couple of days, dipping just a little bit on Thursday. But we're right back into the 80s once we head into Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday sticks out like a sore thumb, dropping numbers uh, possibly into the 60s by the end of next weekend and then early next week or, you know, within a week's time. And that's because we get this big dip in the jet stream that will develop here across much of the plains in the Midwest. It's brief, but it could cool us down as we look within a week. So let's take you through time with Futurecast. Really not much to talk about here over these next several days. Again, little more cloud cover Monday night into Tuesday as that system passes up to the north. But other than that, things are going to stay fairly quiet. So you've got uh, to get out in the fields, you know, starting some harvest maybe uh, beans next week or doing that corn silage should be pretty good for that because we're going to stay pretty dry. Temperatures then staying in the 80s Friday, Saturday. We might see those numbers cool off a little bit again, Hannah, a little over a week.